All right, guys, go to Boy32 here, check it out. So we're sitting here in the Freedom Shack. Now, this is probably an angle that you guys have never really seen. This is my workbench. And uh, probably the reason why you've never seen it is it's just always a, a complete and total disaster. But uh, what I want to do is start showing some things in what I do. Uh, what are we going to do today? Well, uh, this is the full Monty. This is my competition rifle. It's with the proof barrel. And last week I took it out. Shot some really good ammo through it, and it had horrible, horrible accuracy. Groups were just inch and a half, two inches. This is a, uh, a half inch gun all day long. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take this thing, completely tear it down, and we're going to replace the handguard with a JP handguard that was sent out to the channel. So anyway, we're not talking about handguards here. We're not talking about anything else. But what I wanted to talk to you about is uh, this right here. This is a uh, receiver rod. As a matter of fact, I have two of them. These are receiver rods from a company called APS Tactical. And uh, one of the things I wanted to show is demonstrate to you how useful these guys are. Now, typically in the past, I've always used a receiver block similar to this. But if you start messing around with some billet upper receivers, that type of thing, you're going to find out that they're not going to work with this guy. Uh, these are great. They really are. And they're economic, about $14. This is the APS receiver rod right here. This is made out of aluminum. It's anodized. I like aluminum rather than steel because uh, aluminum will, this will, well, let's just say you're not going to damage your uh, barrel by putting this in there. All right. So what's the advantage of this thing? Well, you could put it into a vice block like this right here, and then you can literally take your rifle apart like this and i'm not using the gold one just because i run an ar gold trigger in this rifle or a uh, nitride titanium nitride bcg uh, but what i want to do is i want to show you something you can take this thing and we put it on here just like that and i can work on this upper receiver in a bunch of different angles and that's the advantage i can take it and i can turn it like this well like that i can turn it like this and it makes it a lot easier when you're installing hand guards and things like that so let's do this i'm actually going to take the camera i got a mount right here we're going to mount it up here so i can show you some of the things that we can do with a receiver rod that you can't do with a receiver block here we go, stand by. All right, so here we go. We've got the receiver rod in that vise. And this is pretty neat. It has a flat area. Let me go ahead and loosen this thing up. It has a flat area right there that you can see. And what that does, that fits directly into your vise block, just like so. Now, I will tell you this. Ugh, this rifle definitely needs to be cleaning. And one of the things we're actually going to show is the defouling of this barrel. So what's the first thing I'm going to do? And this is the cool thing about a receiver rod is you can put it on there. You can rotate it. It locks up just like that. You can work on your muzzle brake out here. You can take it off. I just had to replace a muzzle brake on a rifle that we're going to be doing a review on here very soon. And, uh, it was really nice because I was able to torque, turn the receiver, torque, turn the receiver, torque. I didn't have to do all that kind of stuff. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove this optic by my boys over there at Primary Arms. There you go. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove the screws right here. Very simple, very easy. Probably should have had the, uh, hey, look at there, first go. I like that. So the nice thing is, though, I can have a place that will hold this receiver in place, and I can adjust it. You can rotate it up a little bit if you want. Pull that screw out. This handguard has seen a lot of use and uh, is one of the things with the adjustable gas block on here, I've actually taken and cut a section out so that I know that that handguard, hold on one second, that handguard 
is not going to come in contact with that adjustable gas block. Where is this adjustable? Yeah, it is. As Odin works. Come on, baby. Let's see here. Oh, I got those little tiny screws on the back. Now, you see how I'm able to turn this thing, and it can lock up. Now, I might want to turn that so it's towards me a little bit more. I think, oh, well, we locked out again. How about that? There we go. Come on now. There we go. I mean, even for a really cheap handguard, I love the fact that these barrel nuts are so long. But you can see where I actually cut the handguard out so that I knew that it would not interact with that uh, adjustable gas block. And look at that thing. Isn't that nasty? All right. So, but with the receiver rod, we're able to do this. Now, the cool thing about this receiver rod, this bad boy is only $50. I'm going to adjust the camera, bring it over so you guys can watch. I'm going to take, we're going to go ahead and take that uh, gas block off. But before we do that, we're going to take this doggone, uh, what do you call that, the muzzle brake. So I'm going to bring it over there. Let's grab a wrench here. All I got to do is break that, bring that in like that, and you can take this off. Now, if you guys want a top-notch muzzle brake, this is the Apollo S. Let me focus that in there. There you go. That thing is really, really cool. One, two, three, four, five chambers. I think it's Apollo S. Go ahead and take this thing off. But anyway, I'm not gonna guys, I'm not gonna keep you guys here. Uh, but what I wanted to show you was how cool and it is to be able to work with a receiver rod versus a receiver block. And a lot of times you're just sitting here trying to chase these things around. Oh, this ought to be interesting. I might have to heat these up. There we go. Come on now. Oh, there we go. Woo! That's always fun. <laughs> Let's bring that out. Look at that. Nice. Okay, and then really, truly, here's the cool part. Go ahead and take the big wrench. And there it is. Look at that. Oh, I might have to invest in a better vice block. That belonged to my grandfather. But anyway, guys, that's it. APS, these things are $50. I'll put the link down below. Uh, APS Inc. And it's free shipping on these guys. This ought to be interesting. Now, I'm going to have to probably beat this out because this barrel has been... Uh, accurized to this thing anyway we're not talking about that we're talking about this there it is a receiver rod if you've never used one try it out you're gonna like it especially if you're building a lot a lot of rifles all right with that being said guys I uh, <laughs> hope you liked the video and we always end them like this God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. It's freedom's not freedom. I'm talking about those guys and those gals out there who are fighting for our Constitution. Not for those local BS laws that governors like Whitmer are trying to make. I'm going to tell you something. Hell yeah, made in America. It's good boy 32. I'm out.